Free, free at last. No, no, George! I told you she'd be here to meet you, George. George! No, George! All right, that's enough. Oh, George, I've been such a long time, George. You don't have to tell me that. George, did you get the file I sent you in the cake? Did you miss me, George? Oh, did you miss me? Yes, sweetheart, I missed you. Yes, I did. Now, come on, we've got to get to work. To work? You're not... You're not going straight. Of course I'm not going straight. God bless you, she's always ready to think the worst of me. No, he means we've got to go and collect the money out that tree. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right away? Certainly, right away. But, George, I thought... Well, I thought you and me could have a bit of fun, you know. Make up for lost time. Mert! You know what we always said. The big job comes first. Nothing must stand in its way. Nothing. But you've been saying that ever since I met you. I've got enough stuff in my bottom drawer to hold a jumble sale. What a great idea. Why, lovely, what a great idea. We could do with a cash, couldn't we? Got to get some new clobber, somewhere to kip tonight? Well, Georgia, I've been getting a little flat ready, you know, for us. What a lovely girl she is, eh? What a lovely girl you are. Lead us to it. Well, actually, I meant just for you and me. You don't think that I would desert my mates, do you? Oh, George. See you done. Where's the tree? Across that hill there, yeah. down across that road, and 200 yards along that footpath there. Lover's Walk. Fair enough. But how are we going to get the money out of it unnoticed? Oh, what do they call them Lover's Walks? George and me never did much walking. What do you expect them to be called, then? Lover's sit-downs? Oh, you know what I mean. Night's the best time to do it, when nobody's watching. You don't have to tell her that. No, I mean it's the best time to get the money out of the tree. You don't want to worry about that. It's wide open country here. There wasn't a house for miles. Well, what are we waiting for, then? Let's go. Oh, George, you don't mean you're going yet. That's right, darling. You are going to go out, and you're going to find a car, and we're going to go for a nice little ride oh, in the car. George! Hey, yes, you might need it. I thought we was going to have a little celebration. That's my girl. Where'd you knock the car off, Matt? I didn't knock it off. I hired it. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, it's all right, love. I gave him a dud check. <laughs> That's my girl. Look, there's the bank. Hasn't changed much, has it? Oh, I don't know. The men at that window. It's lovely to go back to places you've had fun in, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Here, you know what would be a nice thing to do? Well, when we get that money, we'll bank it there. Ah, this is where we stopped. This is it! Just over that hill. 50,000 quid. It was worth the stretch, every year of it. Come on, then. Georgia. What's happened? That wasn't there before. Are you sure we've come to the right place, George? Of course it's the right place. It was all country down there. Well, where's Lover's Walk? And the tree? What's the matter? Look at that! Oh, a new town. Isn't that lovely? Lovely? Look at all those pretty little houses. Just suit us, Georgie, one of them. Myrtle, one of them pretty little houses has been built by a pretty little flipping tree. Yes, but what do they want to build a new town here for? It's the housing shortage. Hmm? I was reading about it inside. In the last ten years, the population in the cities has increased by... If I hear one more word about what you read inside, I'll fill your cake over with that. Well, don't take it out on me, George. I didn't build the town. Georgie? Just because they built all their houses, it doesn't mean they've cut down all the trees. That's right, George. Look, there's one sticking up out of the roofs over there. Look, is that it, George? It could be. It could be. It's in the right place. It's in the car. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> 